Hello everybody and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the first cup that my.com does and this is the April Fest cup. Also I'm going to teach you guys how to register to that cup and how you can participate in it. So first off my.com wrote an article about the April Fest cup on their website so you can go and read it I will leave a link in the description. But now I want to focus on how do you register your team to that cup. So first off, you will have to go to a special website that my.com created for cups and I've already got into it and this is how the website looks. Now we are interested in Warface, therefore we are going to click registration on Warface. So let's do that now and let's see what we do next. So after we clicked registration, we are going to get into this website and this is where you have to register. Of course, you can read all of this, this is the same as in the article, but I want to talk to you about some interesting tabs. So this is the first tab, participants, and this is very important tab. And here you can see all the teams that signed up to this cup. But now you can also see something interesting, and that's the country of that team is Russia. So that's a mistake and I will explain you why. At the first hours of this website, teams tried to sign up with their country to that cup. But the problem is that they didn't have their country. They only had Russia and CIS options. So now it's fixed and you can pick your country, doesn't matter where you live. Also, you can see the registration date of this team and of course you can see the participation status. So they sent a request and in order for them to participate, their request needs to be approved. So if you want to participate in the cup, so make sure to send a request as fast as you can, because if your request is not going to get approved, you won't be able to play the cup. When you click on the team, you will be able to see all the players that are participating in the cup from that team, and you will also be able to see the substitutes of this team. Of course, you are also able to click on every player that you want and you can see the information about this player. For example, the country, the site he is using or even his in-game name and his server. Next off, you have the video tab where you can see all the videos about that cup. Currently, there are only two videos about other cups, but new videos are going to be added in the future. And last but not least, the most important tab from them all the rules tab. You have to read all of those points and their sub points, for example the 6.5 or the 3.2, so you will have to read all of those until the end from 1 until 13. On the rules you will find a lot of information about the cup, including the maps that you are going to play on, what happens if one player crashes, what happens if there is a delay and stuff like that. So you should definitely read those rules if you don't want to get disqualified for something that you didn't read the rules for. So in order to participate in the cup, you will have to set up your profile. In order to set up your profile, you will have to click on the profile tab on top of the page, as you see me doing now. After you click on profile, you will have to set up your personal information, including nickname on website, your country and one way to communicate with my.com and the moderators. But now I'm going to show you how to edit your personal information if you did something wrong or your information isn't fully completed. So in order to do this, you will have to click on the blue edit button that I showed before. You can change your country to any country in the world. It can be Austria, Australia, it could be Germany, it could be India, Spain, any kind of country in the world. Next off, you will fill up your Skype username in order to the my.com moderators and staff to contact you if they need you. And then you simply click save and your personal information is automatically saved. After that, you will have to click on the games tab. You will have to pick your server and your account. In order to do this, you click on the blue button in front of Warface and you pick your account, your main account, not your second account. So I pick the EU rank 81 account and I click select and now you are basically done if you are a regular player you are done but if you are a leader of a team you will need to set up a team and you will need to create one so I'm going to show you how to do that so first off we go into the main page and click check in then we create our team and you will need to write couple of things first off you will need to write the name of the team for example the second ones 
The second thing you need to pick is the game. The game should be Warface. Then the players in team should be 5, not 10. If you will pick 10, your request will not be approved. So for example, if all the team is from Germany, so you pick Germany. If all the team is from Israel, you pick Israel. If all the people are from different places, you just pick EU. You can also add up your website. If you have a website, for example, the Discord of yours, the TeamSpeak of yours, and something that you want to add, your YouTube channel, your stream channel, so you can add it up there. So for example, my team's website is my YouTube channel. And one more thing that you can put to your team is your team logo. So for example, I picked the picture of mine of the second one's Warface channel and this is going to be the logo of my team and then we are just going to press create. After you created your team, you will be automatically redirected to this page or by clicking team profile. But nevertheless, you can see your team. So for example, I am from Israel, I am the captain of the team and I'm the first and basically the last person in the team as well. Of course, you can change all the details and delete the team if needed. But now I'm going to show you how to add players. So on the left side, you see nickname in Warface and you need to write the nickname in Warface of the player you want to add to your team. So you can add up to four players, of course yourself as well as the captain and two more substitute players. And then you click save. So basically that's it, you opened up a team, congratulations! I just want to remind you guys that before you do all of this, you will have to log into your my.com account. In order to do this, just go to your my.com launcher and click on main page. Then you can just go to esports.my.com and you will be automatically logged in. I still don't know what prizes my.com will give out to the people who won the cup, but I do know that those people will get very good items. But now I will just delete my team because I'm not going to play with the second one's team. So this is basically how you open up a team and I also explained you everything I could about the website. But if you have any questions, make sure to post me down below in the comments. I will answer each one of them or I will just make a separate video and I will answer your questions. But as always, thank you for watching, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!